Hello YouTube, how to polish your motorcycle rims and how to polish your motorcycle spokes is the video today. Um, I've done a video um, in the past, how to polish your motorcycle spokes and how to polish your motorcycle rims while it's on the bike. Uh, I've taken the rims off the bike and the uh, spokes, I thought, the, I would give them a really good polish um, while it was off. So here we go. In this video, I'm going to show you how to achieve that really polished look without having to buy a brand new set. So these are off my Yamaha V Star 650. These are the front spokes that I have taken off and I have polished them up. As you can see, they're all nice and shiny, um, including the little bits that go on the end. I've polished them up as well. Now the ends, I haven't really worried about that much because there you go in the tire and not everybody is gonna see them. But this part where people are gonna see, uh, they are all polished up um, best I can. Um, as you can see, come up a treat it's a 20 year old bike so I don't think it's ever been taken off and the spokes look apart and that, that's the front ones all done I'm gonna show you how I achieve that um, I'll show you the rear these are my rear ones as you can see um, the ends are very rusted but I'm not gonna worry about that that much um, because I'm not gonna polish that end I am going to try to polish that end because it's visible when you put it on the bike and look at that like compare compare that with that and you know it's like chalk and cheese so I'm going to show you guys how it's done and how to achieve it um, and you will learn how to get it to look like that without having to pay for a brand new set or sending them off to getting chromed or yeah it does take a while you're gonna need a, a long weekend um, probably uh, a 12 pack of beers or more and some elbow grease uh, a drill um, I'll show you those things now so the things you need is obviously metal polish I use auto sole you can use any kind of metal polish you like um, you need um, a little cloth I got a towel don't tell the missus I uh, cut up her towel um, and you need to cut it uh, just like this in a thin strip and why a thin strip I'll tell you because we need to cover the threads so the threads don't get damaged when I put them in the drill so you just roll it around the thread like so like so and then there's your drill bit, you open the end you stick it in there tighten her up Okay, and there you go. So now we've got it rotating, which is awesome. Now, you need some sort of steel wool. I got this kind of stuff, steel wool. I think they use it to clean up stuff before they sand and sandpaper and stuff. It works great. Well, it's worked for me on my uh, front spokes for the Yamaha V Star 650. And um, you cut them up into little pieces like this little squares and why the little squares is so you can put it around it like that and work your way up and down and hopefully get it all nice and shiny and you need a rag uh, a cleanish rag so you can wipe it at the end to see the end product and that's it basically that's all you need how to polish 
motorcycle rims, um, how to polish your motorcycle spokes is the video and I'm going to show you right now. So we grab a, a piece of our wire material, I grab a little bit of polish and I put it on the wire just like that and you can rub just a little bit on the steel spoke just a little bit just to soften her up a bit okay and there you go so here we go how to polish motorcycle rims how to polish your motorcycle spokes and I just put it around it like this and hold it. And I work my way up and down. And then give it a bit of a clean. Now, look at that. That's what it was looking like before and you might need to do a second application like one more time run over it one more time it the only thing is it leaves if you can see here leaves the dirt there and with that corner part you may you're gonna need to do it with your hand so grab this with your hand and I'll show you how to do that as well I want to apply one more coat on this so I just put a little bit more of my polish on the metal wire like that like spreading butter on toast as I said it's a process a weekend put your movie on grab a few beers and then we need to give it a clean again now Look at that. Compare it to what it was. Where is the long one? This is what it was looking like. Compare that to that. Looks a million dollars. Now, the edge part. How to get rid of it. This. How to get rid of this dirt on there. Because you can't get rid of that while it's spinning. So, you take it off. You remove your cloth and you grab your little metal wire and circular motions just like that. It is messy and the only reason why I'm doing it inside it's 42 degrees Celsius here boiling outside. It's almost lunchtime so I thought there's no chance I'm doing it outside and the missus ain't home so can get away with doing it indoors okay so I just give that a clean like that and then with my cloth your hands get dirty as well so you need a dirty rag and a clean rag as I said you may need to apply a second time but to me and I'll show you guys how to polish motorcycle rims how to polish your motorcycle spokes and look at the result bang on so now you're gonna ask me how do you do the end part so again this part here is all rusted and very bad looking and I'm not really fussed about that part because that's gonna be hidden underneath the tire but this part is visible so I want to try and clean as much as that as I can so what I do is I screw it in. I've got a little furry thing here to polish up things. Um, it's quite used at the moment, but it was really fl uh, fluffy. Um, and you can buy these at your hardware stores. Uh, and okay, so there you go. That's what it looks like right there. And we're going to put a little bit of the cream on my fluffy part okay you just 
Give that a spin. And you hold. Okay. And then we give it a wipe just to see what it's looking like underneath. As I said, it's a 20 year old bike, so it can be a little bit stubborn at times and it may need a second coat of the cream. And if you have a good look at it, it probably needs a second coat of the cream. Half of it's really polished up, but some of it's not. So, grab some more of your cream. Go for the second round. Now let's see what it looks like. And I think that looks bang on. There you go. If you have a look at that. If you compare that to say that. Big difference. How to polish motorcycle rims. How to polish your motorcycle spokes. There's the difference. This one I have just done. This one was what it was looking like. And as you can see, it's, you know, the difference is amazing. It's a little bit of work. Um, I would go out and buy a brand new set if I could, but in, in Turkey where I live, it's very rare. They have to order it from Japan. It takes, you know, 60, up to 60 days for it to come. So I thought, why not? Uh, long weekend get stuck in and yeah so there you go if you like the video please uh, give me a thumbs up you can leave a comment if you do it different way you can let me know give me some tips um, if you don't like it you can say so as well happy to respond to all comments please subscribe um, subscribing uh, is important uh, if you do enjoy the videos that I make and stay tuned for a lot more new videos to come. Adios.